Begin with a breaking news update, a verdict in that Amish haircutting trial. Good evening, I'm Chris Flanagan. And I'm Lee Jordan. Today, a jury found Samuel Mullet Sr. and his followers guilty of a crime that captured national attention. News Channel 5's John Kosick is live in downtown Cleveland with the follow-up. John? Yeah, Lee, 16 defendants were on trial here at Cleveland Federal Court in this Amish beer cutting case. All 16 found guilty of at least one count of a federal hate crime charge. Now, the man who was the mastermind prosecutor say of it all, Bishop Samuel Mullet, he was found guilty of the seven of nine charges against him, including four of the five hate crime charges. That the attacks happened and the beard and the hair were cut was never in question. What was up for debate was whether the attacks were a simple church dispute among the Amish sects or whether based on the religious significance of an Amish person's hair and beard, the attacks were religious hate crimes. The jury ruled this afternoon that indeed they were, after five days of deliberation, a debate that for some jurors took its emotional toll. From a personal standpoint, it was, it was very difficult. I, I live near Amish. Um, I don't know any of the community personally. Uh, I respect them. Highly. And that juror telling me afterwards that he feels for both the victims and the defendants in this particular case. All 16 defendants face up to 20 years to life in prison based on the convictions on those hate crime charges when they are sentenced next January. Reporting live at the Cleveland Federal Courthouse, John Kalsik, News Channel 5. Wow, John, the emotional difficulty of this, this trial and the verdict with that juror you spoke with was so visible. Did you pick up any reaction from any other jurors or courtroom observers? Uh, by his own admission, Stu there said he, he was indeed the most emotional of the other jurors, but nevertheless, it really did take its toll because they understood the religious significance uh, and, and what their verdict would mean uh, when they made it today. Sure. All right. John Kosick reporting for us. Thanks, John.